Welcome everyone. So it's been a while. Seems like I say that a lot, but that's the fact of the matter. Um, I have been busy. I've been working on um, a customer project. I'll go ahead and throw up some pictures here. If you guys follow my Instagram, you'll know kind of what I've been working on. But um, anyhow, customer brought me a truck and a service body. Wanted to match two together. That turned into um, there's going to be some some conflict of some other things. So wound up going full air suspension and uh, four link and all that to go with it. Um, wound up cleaning everything up, painting it, just building custom fenders, a custom bumper um, to go with it. Just turned into a lot more than I was anticipating. All in all, I'm happy with how it turned out. Everything looked good. Everything seems to be working well. Um, customers using it for work again. And yeah, I'm just uh, finally getting back to doing some other things, getting projects of my own wrapped up. So that's that. Um, in other news, if you guys watched my live stream a few days ago, whenever this video goes up, I don't know exactly when, but I've been focused on, after I finished up the truck, I've been focused on getting the, the shop organized because when I built this thing, I uh, got the roof on it, got this back wall on it, and then I had a project to do. I, had, I, would, I built the, the welding bed, and then I just never had the time to more or less go through and set up everything how I wanted it to. Uh, it's, still, it's still somewhat you know, cluttery, but I got my big toolbox over here now where I got most of my, uh, most of all my good stuff in here and it's just going to make things a lot easier because I've been working out of this and been getting stuff done, but it's nice having nice tools. That's all I'm saying. So what we're working on today is just trying to get this thing done. I need a trailer. It's, uh, it's been too long. I need to get this thing wrapped up. There's not a lot left to do as far as fabrication. First thing I'm gonna work on is I need to cut about 30 uh, chains pull pieces to go between my stake pockets here. Um, all down there, up here. Then I got a bunch of welding to do. Um, I got to add another piece of this on the other side. I'm putting plate here to kind of box this in to make it look, um, I don't know if I want to make it look like anything, but to try to help with the flux in the trailer this way, trying to put a piece here, because it should act kind of like X bracing, and maybe I'll put some between here, whatever. I'm um, gonna build the chain chain rack, chain rack um, toolbox more or less. Um, I'm not worried about back here right now. I just need to try to get the stuff up front done so that I can more or less be done with this got some wiring to figure out and prep for that um, and that's that but first thing I'm gonna do is cut a bunch of pieces start getting stuff welded on up here figure stuff out I gotta excuse me I'm gonna have to go cut some stuff out on my table um, but I just want to get what I can welded out up front here and if you guys are wondering this works very well um, it could be a little taller for you know my application it, it'll pick the trailer up off the ground um, you know when I'm hooked from the truck, but it's not a lot and you can see it kind of dragged back there So I wound up cranking it down anyway, so I could get up here and work easier, but That's that let's get to work. We've got a lot of things to do. We got a lot of projects coming up um, Hope to get back to the to the regular video. So let's get to work guys
unfortunately that's all with the time I'm gonna have to do anything today um, I've been uh, with the project uh, before and everything else trying to clean the shop up I've been pretty much non-stop for the past uh, two months seems like so um, today Saturday me and the missus are gonna take some time head out go do something um, and I will be back at this uh, either Monday Tuesday something of that nature um, gone I need to get my tractor out so I can get a piece of plate brought over here um, to cut stuff out for this so yeah more or less it's, I just need to get this back out of here do some uh, figuring some cutting get cut some uh, stuff on my plasma table um, I want to make a gusset for here got to do some gusseting here um, got to brace this to that and eventually cut some um, plates to go here if you guys remember I'm gonna the 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 the, the wood the deck is gonna stop here somewhere um, and then this area here is gonna be for chains and binders straps um, I might add a toolbox I'm thinking about adding a um, kind of like a truck um, a winch system for a spare tire so it can tuck up underneath there it's gonna be kind of a hassle if I need to get to it but at least it'll be out of the way and I'll have it if I need it um, and then I'm gonna start figuring out the wiring I don't want to use the torch cut holes through here so I'm gonna weld tabs all the way down here for the axles um, and then come all the way back here I'm gonna make new ramps I don't know it might I might just go ahead and do it uh, while, right now while I have the time um, just but I want to make a light bar to go underneath the trailer out of two by three and then make some gussets here so that way um, I can run oval lights and then not have to because there's nowhere to put them really um, I'm gonna wind up put probably put the tag there and stuff like that so anyhow that's gonna do it um, as a little bonus I'm gonna add in um, some stuff that I had filmed a long time ago tearing down an old 73 uh, power stroke uh, in a truck that I picked up with a service body engine was no good so I tore it apart to see what was wrong with it and you'll see that now but other than that thanks guys appreciate it we'll see y'all real soon in the next one thanks guys Welcome again everyone. So today I am stepping out of my usual and we've got a we've got a V8 in the shop. We got a 73 power stroke that um, I bought a truck with a kind of decent service body and I got a point in my face here. I bought a truck with a kind of decent service body on it and I had plans to just take the service body off and put on something else. Um, so everything else that I didn't need I've been selling off and uh, parting ways with here very slowly. But sold the uh, transmission off earlier. The engine, though, does not spin 360. It does not. Uh, there's something. It does. It's not frozen up, but it doesn't spin all the way around. And there's just something wrong with it. So all I'm doing today is I'm going to be tearing it down and seeing if we can find any carnage or seeing what it looks like. Don't know what happened. I can't. You know, it doesn't look like it dropped the valve or anything like that that I can see. But um, you know, I, it very well could be sheared off right at the right at the base of the valve I don't know so we're gonna see what we can find it may be nothing um, seeing what parts were salvageable um, I don't have any I don't have any need for this engine it doesn't do me any good necessarily meaning I don't have any Ford trucks I don't have any diesels so there's nothing really that I that I need from it I'm gonna save the turbo um, Ethan's got a truck so I'm gonna save a few maybe a starter off of it um, just a few miscellaneous things maybe try to sell some of the stuff if it's valuable if not then it's going to the scrapyard but one thing to clear up from the last video real quick um with the hitch that we made never knew this but there is a speed for the knob S 
So I did find that after you guys mentioned that the speed thing for the three point, it does seem to help, but it doesn't do enough. Um, I don't know if this tractor is just too new to where uh, it's just not broken yet to where it just it it drops faster. But in it'll to initially get it to go, I have to still push down a little bit on it back here to get it to drop and uh, do its thing. But it definitely does help with the speed of it. But I still need to keep maybe add some more weight or keep some weight on it um, just to clear that up other than that we're gonna start taking stuff apart I don't know what's a good thing to save or what's valuable I have no idea so if you guys um, maybe can give me some insight but I'm just gonna go ahead and start stacking stuff on pallets like this head has been sitting out these rocker um, covers or the valve covers essentially they they've been sitting out as you can see the all these holes are pretty bad They'd have to be probably drilled out and retapped if it was, you know, salvageable. But um, I don't know. We'll see what uh, we'll see what we find if we dig into it. And I'll set you guys up on tripod. And if I find some carnage, I'll let you know. But otherwise, I'm just gonna get to town. Get to town. I'm gonna go to town. It's kind of a weird saying, isn't it? I'm just gonna go to town on this. Anyhow, I'm gonna start taking it apart. See what we uh, see what we can find. Well, I haven't found a culprit yet. Um, there's all the valves are there. None of the pistons I've you know felt around. None of them have uh, holes in them or anything. Obviously, they're holding oil. One thing I can surmise is it was hydro locked, and um, for what reason I don't know. I know that the um, I think that the like the injector cups or whatever on the head can let loose, but it is slap full of water. I didn't. I don't know if it's I mean, there's some cooling in it, but this is water, and I did not think that with what was open on the engine, there would be um, as much water come out as it did. The worst part about the heads is the rust on it. I mean, these these do not look, they don't look bad. Um, again, one might be cracked, might have a seat cracked or something somewhere, but all the valves are there. Same with this one. That line in it there is from water, something sitting in it. So they don't look bad. In my opinion, they could probably be reused. You just have to um, redo the valve cover holes, stuff like that. But 
they look okay again I don't I'm not gonna use it for anything but I'll post them online if somebody wants them for cheap they can come get them uh, I probably I don't know I'm just gonna clean up my mess here and I'm gonna um, try to spin it over and if, see if it spins over I'm not I, I really don't feel like messing with this anymore um, this has been a very uh, interesting project so far meaning as soon as I pulled the injectors out, there was oil and water everywhere and very strange to me. So again, I'm not a four guy. This may be normal. Uh, this may be normal operations whenever you take it apart and all this oil coming out everywhere. Obviously the water is not normal, but the, uh, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead, try to clean up some of my mess here and then see if we can get this thing to spin over and see what it does. Well, Spins over just fine. Goes 360. No problems, just some water. A little in her. So so I don't know what we're what's gonna do with this thing. Um, again, I don't have a I don't have a need for it. Um, I'm gonna post it up online here and see if anybody wants to come get it for cheap and whatever. And if not, then we'll take it apart the rest of the way and see if there is really any damage to the bottom end or not. But I'm done messing with it. I need to I need to get some uh, some floor absorbent or something. Where I can clean up my mess here because I made quite the uh, quite the mess here, which obviously I had no idea that it was going to start puking oil everywhere either. So live and you learn. So I don't know what we're going to do now.